For those of us that don't use GoXLRs, it's been difficult to run dual PC setups. It's always been a pain getting the audio from the gaming PC over to the streaming PC, and then get the Twitch alerts from our streaming PC back to our gaming PC so we can hear it. Now, of course, the GoXLR makes that extremely easy with its multiple inputs and outputs, as well as its multiple routing options. But for those of us that use the Elgato Wavelink system, we've always struggled with it. So today, I'm going to show you how to use Elgato's Wavelink system to run a dual PC streaming setup. Now, because this video is going to be just a little bit longer than my previous videos, be sure to save or favorite this video so that you can come back to it later. All right, have you saved it? Good. Let's get started. For this tutorial, you're going to need four things. First, a second PC with streaming software installed, like OBS or Streamlabs. Second, you're going to need a capture card like this one. This happens to be the Elgato HD 60S Plus, but you can use any capture card that captures HDMI video and audio. Third, you're going to need an HDMI cable that runs from your gaming PC to the capture device, obviously. And finally, you're going to need a male-to-male 8th inch audio jack like this one. This is to run from the streaming PC back to our gaming PC. Start by running an HDMI cable from your video card to the capture card's HDMI in. Next, plug your capture card into your streaming PC via USB. Finally, connect the aux cable to the headphone out jack of your streaming PC and run that to your gaming PC's line in. And be sure to use the line in, not the microphone in. Now we have just a couple more steps. First, let's configure Windows to send all of our Wavelink software over to our capture card. On your gaming PC, go to your search bar and type in Change System Sounds. Once there, click on the Recording tab, then find Wavelink Stream, right click and select Properties. Click on the Listen tab at the top, check Listen to this device. Here is where you'll select your capture card. For me, I'm using the PD570 and click OK. Now let's go over to our streaming PC and make sure that OBS is capturing the sound from our capture device. As you can see, we have a web browser open playing music that is going through our Wavelink software and outputting through our stream output. And if we go check the audio on our streaming PC, we can now see that the capture device is picking up the sound from our gaming PC. And we have one more step, and that is how to get our alerts back over to our gaming PC. For that, we need to go back to our streaming PC. In the advanced audio properties, find the audio source that you want to hear that contains your alerts. Then change it from monitor off to monitor and output. That will output the audio source through the head jack over that cable into the line in of our gaming PC. And finally, we just have to make sure we can monitor that line in using Wavelink. Find an available channel in Wavelink, click the plus button, then select the line in for your PC. At the bottom, make sure that you mute the stream and only listen to it via the monitor mix. Failing to mute the stream on that input will likely cause echoing for your viewers. And that is how you run a dual PC setup using Wavelink software. I hope that helps. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. It's a great way to support me and it's a great way to let me know what kind of videos you want to see more of. Until next time, keep calm and game on.